The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I failed. Miserably. Eventually I succeeded, but that didn't really make up for all the fail. Unless you were thoroughly entertained by my failure, in which case, I thoroughly succeeded. So we got Cutman's weapon, and now we're going to go against Electman, because Electman is weak against Cutman's weapon. Electman, that's one word apparently. Wow, this music. Could this be any more high-pitched? Also, we're introduced to a, n a new mechanic right off the bat, fans. As if conveyor belts weren't bad enough. And then we're introduced to another mechanic right after that. Disappearing platforms, a staple of the Mega Man games. Now at least that one is simple, but eventually they're going to get really complicated. Alright, yeah, I can hit my head on that. Thankfully, if I fall down here, it does not count as death like it does in Darkwing Duck. Need to work on that timing. I assume, yep, I can stand on that without getting hit. This is going to be entire. You know what? No, I'm just going to watch this. There. Oh, wow. And that's where it gets tricky. You have to jump ahead of time to avoid that happening. Alright, that one. At least these things aren't appearing as slowly as they do in your average... M Wait, what was, what was I saying? Let me try that again. At least those things aren't appearing as fast as they do in your average Mega Man game. You gotta be kidding me. We got a fan and those platforms? And there's no in-between. You have to jump off right before it disappears to get onto the next one. I better not fall. I fell. No! 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 Alright, let me get the timing of this down. In fact, I should just, like, counter something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ah. Oh. I need to work on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Crap! At least I'm not falling as far down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I started counting too early. You know, it would be kind of sad if I died before I reached the top. Famous last words. You know, I just realized something. I'm at zero lives. I did not start out with lives, a max amount of lives. So you know what? I want to be able to beat this stage without worrying about a game over. So here's one thing about Mega Man that you should all be aware of. Spikes are instant death. Alright, there's my password. It hasn't changed because I didn't actually make any progress. But now, I got my maximum life. Well, not maximum maximum, but enough. Well, it should be enough, although two lies apparently wasn't enough for Cutman's stage. I knew I was about to get hit there. 
Alright. Huh, at least I got that down. Just watch, I'm gonna fall down there and not have it down. Ugh. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, finally. Wow, these guys are moving slow. Maybe I'm just used to how they were moving in Mega Man 10 base hard mode. Because in that, they were considerably faster. That better not... Not really sure how I'm supposed to... Oh, I can hit it from there. That's good to know. Alright. Alright. Moving on. Oh, we made it to the sky. Ow. Alright, time to jump on platforms that go behind the clouds. Yeah, I, I never really played Mega Man two, uh, 1 and 2, but I'm definitely familiar with their levels because I've watched, like, long plays of them. In fact, in preparation for this game, I watched a long play of Mega Man 1, at the very least, so I would know what sort of weaknesses I was dealing with, and what order to tackle the Robot Masters. It's probably... Usually, people will consider it cheating to figure that out after, or before you actually play the game. You would want to learn ahead of time, or... Let me try that again. Usually, people will consider that cheating to find out what's coming in the game before you actually play it, but considering how much trouble I had with Cutman, I do not want to go into a level not knowing a Weapon Master's specific weakness. Alright. I know where I want to jump to. That only goes up. Alright. I would not want to fall down there because it would almost certainly spell doom. Luckily, I don't have to worry about falling here. Is that, am, I, am I going to go behind this cloud? Yep. All the clouds are bad for you. Wow. Mega Man games are difficult, but this is kind of ridiculous. Actually, that wasn't that bad. Oh, and then we have the most famous Mega Man enemy, the Metats. You cannot shoot them while they're like that. You have to wait for them to pop up. Pop up. Thank you. Alright. This doesn't look too bad. There's no spikes or anything. I can easily kill these enemies. Including that one. I'm waiting for him to fall over to the right just in case he drops health. Nope. That reminds me. We haven't tried out Cutman's weapon yet. Is there an enemy up here? Wow, that did not... That was not quite as easy as uh, I expected it to be. Go, 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 go. Alright. No, in this case, it's definitely a good thing these guys don't go very fast. Alright, so there's Cutman's weapon. It's a boomerang. Oh! Do want. Now, if I did just a regular attack, I can shoot off the ladder that way, but Cutman's weapon, like I said, these guys drop so much ammo, I might as well have fun with it. Then we have this again. My gosh, those cause a lot of damage. How far up back did I get sent? Wow. That's... Wow. 
Oh, big health. Too bad I don't need it. <sighs> Alright, I made it back to this point. While I was at it, I decided to go ahead and change Mega Man's, or the game's color scheme to 4E. I figured that was the most appropriate for this stage. Alright, oh, the ladder's up there. Alright. Oh, wait, no, that's just weapon power up. That reminds me. And I couldn't uh, access the menu in time. I wanted to find out if after dying your we weapon ammo gets restored. And no, no, it doesn't. Alright, so here we go to this part. By the way, all that health that I've t uh, damage that I've taken, except for a small bit, was by getting hit by those things. Over the part with the spikes. Alright, cut man's weapon. Oh my goodness! I did not expect to fall that far. Oh. And by the way, if you uh, collect one of those weapon refills without having a power equipped, it does not refill the power. Yeah, I could have used that a long time ago. This part actually sucks. That's why. I don't know how I got past it on my first try, but I failed on my second try and not failed as hard on my third try. I wish I didn't have to have a third try. Let me get myself this. And then shoot this guy before he does that. Alright, let's see if I can make it past this. Cut man. Help me. Without screwing me. That's definitely a useful weapon. Doesn't take much ammo, which is good because I can just refill it, like that. Uh. Oh, I shot the wrong way. I need to keep track of that. Alright. This is where I failed the first time. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Ah, uh, you. Ah! Uh, finally was able to kill that guy without taking damage. Another Met Hat. You're no issue. Another Met Hat. You're no issue. Down we go. Oh, we made it to the Weapon Master. Robot Master, whatever. Alright, let us hope that even though I've taken some damage in on my last life, Cutman's weapon is enough to deal with this guy. Because getting up here was really hard. Oh, wow, that's like... Oh, hey, hey! Ooh! And there you go. That is why you want to know these Weapon Master's weaknesses. Robot Master's. Whatever. Huh. <sighs> First try. And of course we got that creepy uh, half cut of Mega Man again. And we got Thunder Beam. There's our password. I'm going to want to definitely make note of that this time because that's it for this week. Next week, we're going to go ahead and tackle Iceman. Maybe next time I'll actually have somebody with me for the commentary. If not... Oh well. <laughs>